Hello everyone, today I'm here to tell you about the integration with the Informatica integration with the Salesforce. I'm basically going to explain how to transfer the data from Salesforce to other server, for example Oracle, and how to get the data from Oracle to Salesforce objects. So we are using the tool that is called Informatica as we have heard about the Informatica and for the login you have to visit to the app.informatica.com.login you have to enter your username you have to enter your password i have already logged in here and there you will be able to see the list of tasks that has have been created so firstly you have to set up your runtime environments runtime environment basically we have to set that from which connection we are going to get the system details this is the connection that is being run on the local machine so you have to install the secure agent application on your local machine from where you want to run the data or store the error files in your system so i have created one for testing purpose that is salesforce this is up and running you can see the status that is salesforce up and running can there are few more agents that has been running for my client site smile 0710 so after setting up the connection uh, for setting up the secure agent this is the very easy procedure you can just click on the name you have to enter and the details then the agent will be set it. now the time comes for the connection after the runtime environment you have to set up the connections connections basically for the both the ends both the servers for the ebs here i am using the eb server to pull the data and to push the data and for salesforce is the another for pull and push so firstly i am going to create the eb server login credential i have used i have given the name ebs 1710 uat and this is the runtime environment name that we have created from the here runtime environment that is being get hit to the local system and after that if we have to enter the username as we enter in the every login credential and the password host port the basic details you can see from here also and after this you can test the connection also that is the okay or not you can see from here that is after the test for this connection was successful means the connection and the credential that you have entered was correct and this connection is okay so the second thing we have to set up for the salesforce the salesforce credential okay this is my sandbox connection so i will enter the connection of the sandbox to get insert the record in this org itself so for that i have to enter the credential like username and password so i am using the connection i have given the connection name that is salesforce qa connection okay so these are the details when you click on edit when you click on edit you can easily see the name type here you can give the list of connection you can see salesforce oracle sql server mysql odbc ftp ftps ftp is used for sending the file from one end to another and here i have used the smile satradas means smile 0710 okay username i have given this is my salesforce username credential and i have entered the password of the salesforce and the most important thing service url if you are logging into normal account you can use login.salesforce.com if you are using the sandbox connection the url will be exactly same what you enter it here okay the difference between both the dead test.salesforce.com and the login.salesforce.com both the url are different so i am using here test.salesforce because this is my sandbox connection and mostly the version latest version this is basically used for getting the dynamic query or the standard query when we use in the informatica it doesn't support due to the version issue so make sure you have to enter the latest version here okay and after that you can test this connection also it's taking time okay the connection was successful suppose if i have entered the incorrect password i am just entering here one one so now if i will test it will give an error that the credential is not correct the test connection for salesforce queue connection failed login fault it will give you the exact reason 
so when you once you enter the correct connection then only it let you log in into the correct connection okay so our runtime environment has been set connection has been set from where the data to be taken and where to be inserted so for here we are taking we are treating ev server ev server as a source source and salesforce as a target which means we are going to take the records from this eb server which will be oracle and this will be the salesforce sfdc okay so we are going to take the record from here to insert in the salesforce so in this eb server we are going to we have created one table for the account that is name xxcm first account something like that and here in our salesforce that is the standard object that is account okay so our source is set our target is set from where the data to be pulled and where to be inserted so coming back to the informatica i have created one task for the task you can use data synchronization there are two two concept data synchronization and mapping configuration from both the way you can perform the integration here i have used the data synchronization as my client requirement so you can see i have created one task pull account from ebs to salesforce account via data synchronization absurd qa test so i will go step by step one more thing you can create the new task also i will show how to create the new task just you have to click on the new and here the same thing task name and the task operation so i'm going to my the created task that i have been created earlier and which is working fine i have tested from my end so this is the account for the qa absurd i will mention why the operation is being absurd performed so here i have given the task name you can give whatever you want and after that giving that details you have to give the task operation you can use insert update absurd delete whatever but i have used here absurd i will tell you why because every time the record created in ebis it's came to salesforce but suppose one record created in ebis at the time of 4 feb 2017 at 1 pm and we have run the integration schedule at task run at 1:30 uh, pm 1:30 pm so we have run the task so the created account has been in inserted in the salesforce for the first time and at 1:31 pm at 1:31 pm the task get edited from the oracle user and the account name or something fields has been changed and the record has been updated so next time whenever the record will come to the salesforce that same record with the id already exist because the same name has been already inserted for the first time that account already inserted so the next time instead of creating new record we have to just update the existing record in the salesforce so for that i have used the absurd operation i will tell how the id get treated as if you are aware about the salesforce there is one external id that we used to get we use this basically to transfer the record or get the record from the outsource external id is of 18 digit normal salesforce id is of 15 digit that adding three characters at the last makes it more unique so now i will click on next i have set the task name i have given the task operation absurd let's take some time to reach to the next page now it's given an error informatica jdbc well invalid username password login denied means the connection was not ready i will select the connection ebis 1710 u at okay and this is the account in the 
oracle that has been created where the list of record will be displayed as you can see these are the record that has been present in the source object means in the oracle server and their server account object name is xxsm underscore customer underscore account underscore v we have just given the view for the identification purpose and now clicking on the next now from here we have to for source we have make the connection eb1710 uat i have selected that connection then i have got the their account object name and now for the connection of the target because source is our ebs from where we are taking the record and target is where we are inserting or updating the record so in target i have to put the connection of the salesforce so i have created the connection if you remember we have created the connection from here by entering the salesforce credential so i am going to take the salesforce qa connection for this and qa connection if you want you can view from here that same connection will be viewed to you you can test from here also if the connection is valid or not if anything will be wrong it will be displayed here and then the salesforce all of the objects will be listed you here account contact see account is here then case is here the order what all are the objects in the salesforce will be displayed here and the list of record will be displayed one more thing informatica only shows not all the files only the 10 records here if you want to see you have to log in into the main server you have to see but you can see the excel sheet where you can see the list of fields for the account for example i have downloaded by clicking on the preview all column it downloads the file account id this is the salesforce id you can only view the 10 records you can only view the list of 10 records and all the columns what are the fields available in the salesforce account currency owner id billing street the all the details will be displayed here account type account name all the details are here this is the salesforce details okay so by clicking on next we have set the target connection also we have selected the object in which object we have to insert the data from where we have to take the data this all are set source and target has been defined if you want to put some filter means in my account if i will come to my account i will open one account for example i will not show my client's data i will show some dummy data for example i will open this record and here the account number you can see this account number we have to make one field as external id for the account as you can see we have made the account number as external id it will be treated as unique and external id remember we have used the operation absurd on this basis of record the record get updated or inserted because if this external id exist it will update the record i will tell you how to set the lookup also suppose if there is one account and there are multiple contacts in the oracle server how to set that number of contacts under that account in salesforce that is the later topic so i have used this account number okay so you want to filter that account where the account number is 7539 so it will take only one record from the oracle server and bring only one record because you have added the filter putting the filter is very easy you have to just select the source remember one thing filter can only be applied to the source object only be applied to the source object because you will decide from the source which which record you have to take and you have to bring to the target so i will apply the filter on the account number that i want to apply for on the xyz number for example you can put the filter and it will look like this account number equals xyz so you can put the filter also now we will click on next so in the left side the source object is being displayed there's object of account and in the right side 
our object of account in the salesforce so these are our salesforce field if you want to see the api name you can see the parent is account parent label is account type is string name is billing postal code if you want to see some another account see this is the standard field account name the api is name label is account name type is string strength is 255 if you want suppose this is the account name now their account name i want to with the salesforce standard name so the mapping is very easy you have to just click on this and by clicking you do not have to release the left button you have to just bring it in the front of the this account name and then you have to release your button then the account will be easily mapped this is only drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop the same thing okay so i have mapped this industry with the sales channel account number c this is our external id field you can see this is the external id field which i mapped with their account number because their account number is unique at their end and we have made this unique at our end also so whenever the upsert will perform it will perform on the basis of this so make sure whenever you are performing the upsert operation you have to make one external id in the salesforce also and one unique field in the other server also from where the data is coming so we have all set make sure the type should be correct if here the string then you have to map it the, with the string itself if here the data type is number you have to take the number this is the legal entity we have used some fields and now coming to the last field mapping has done now we have to come on the schedule here on every absurd operation we have to put the absurd field name whatever the field will be for the absurd it will be reflected here means whatever id and id or any external id has been in your salesforce object that will be listed here and the absurd operation will be performed on this condition also if you left it as blank it will give you an error while running a task it will give an error that there is no key specified so for that you have to put one external id for which the absurd operation will be performed so all the task has been set and now you have to do nothing and one more thing i will tell you whenever you do the mapping whenever you have completed the mapping you can just validate your mapping by clicking on validate mapping by clicking on validate mapping whenever you click on this it will refresh the page and it will check whether is there any incorrect mapping or not if the mapping will be success it will give you a success message that this validation of this mapping has no errors see it will be loading and will be checking all the fields the field mapping is valid and has no errors so after that you have to just save and run your task once you run your task the page will be closed and it will be redirected to the activity monitor i am not running the task because this is the live system i cannot take any risk over here okay this is the activity monitor and this is the activity log whenever the task get run there will be no job all the jobs will be scheduled here whatever the task is being running and after completing the job you will be redirected to the activity log and it will keep refreshing at at the particular interval and the list of tasks will be displayed here and once the record get successfully you will get the message that the record has successfully got pulled or something error everything informatica gives you an actual sheet some error get downloaded in the secure agent file where the machine is being installed and the secure agent has been installed so this is the demo for pulling the data for pushing the data i will tell you in my next video till then to be continued thanks for watching